Hello everyone, I am Noof, and I am here with another tutorial. This time it's about... Well, it's a kind of a small thing, but everyone knows that the small things can go a long distance. Okay, so let's say you have a HUD. For this example, I'm using Gmang HUD. It's pretty slick. And the color yellow just absolutely bugs you because, to be honest, I really do not like the color yellow, especially in this using the uh, color yellow for unique items, this like red-orange for stranges and stuff like that. Well, there is a way you can change that in HUDs. So what you do is, first you open up your uh, your custom folder to which HUD you're using, and then you go into the resource to find the client scheme file. And this file lists a bunch of colors for stuff, you might have noticed it in case you ever needed to edit the HUD. It says like um, HUD, ammo clip, ammo reserve, ammo clip low, stuff like that. But this pretty much can, like, this consists of every color in the game that's like nicknamed. So for example, this one is color white. But we're not here for that. What we're going to do is we're going to change the color of the yellow for unique items. And for this example, we're going to change them to, let's say, green. So you pull up Control F for your find, and you find the word unique. Now it should pull up this area where it says quality color normal, and all this stuff. Normal's for the, uh, for the stock weapons, by the way. Unique is the yellow ones, community is the green ones, developer. Wow, I actually didn't know that one existed. Self-made, customized, yeah, but there's all this kind of stuff here, but the one we're focusing on is unique. This is the yellow one. Now, to change it to a not blinding shade of white, we're going to change this number, these three numbers, to 225, 225, 225, 255. Then you just hit Control s to save, and let's open up TF2 again. Okay, so our TF2 is now open. We can just go ahead and cruise on into items and see that all the yellow items that were now unique have been changed to white. It's a small little thing to fix, but it looks really nice in my opinion. So now all of your yellow ones are changed to white. That's basically it from this tutorial. You can change it to any color you want as long as you know the RGB, the red, green, blue value for it. Which you can like just Google color picker and you can pick out some colors from a website version of that. I th I'll try and put a link to it in the description, but that's really all there is to it. Thanks for watching.